Hello! Hi! Today we're going to be opening up the second ever City Snack Pack. We opened up this subscription box last month for the first time. It was the first time that they ever had this box and we really, really enjoyed it. So mm -hmm. we were really pumped that this month City Snack Pack sent us another box to open up. We're really excited. We want to start off by thanking City Snack Pack for sending us this box to review. We're really excited. This is a monthly subscription box that sends different snack treats and candies from local businesses from one city in the United States. So we really had a great experience last month trying snacks from Detroit, and this month we're going to be trying snacks from the Twin Cities, yeah. Minneapolis and St. Paul. We have a discount code that you can use for 20% off of your first order if you're interested in signing up. I'll put that here also in the description below, but it's Ice Cream 20. If you're interested in signing up, definitely use that. That's a huge discount. Yeah. In the description below, I'll also put City Snack Pack's website so you can check them out for pricing information. They only have one size box, which is what we're opening up today. And then I'll also link all of the playlists for all of our other subscription box videos, including our City Snack Pack playlist, which will have our video from last time if you want to check that out. I went into a little bit more detail about the company and the pricing of the boxes, but the main thing that's like the most important is just how much this box focuses on supporting local businesses, mm -hmm. and we really love that. We experienced that a little bit in our USA Snacks box that we've been unboxing for quite a few months, so if you've been here for a while, you might be familiar with that box. We just really like learning about the local businesses because most of the time these local businesses have websites that you can order snacks from and like have them delivered to you, but unless you like are near them or if you visited them, you probably don't know that they exist, so this is a great opportunity for them to like get the brand's name out there, but then also for us and the people who are like signed up for this box to get to experience those brands without actually going to where they are. Especially right now, we're not traveling, but we have not traveled much in our lives. So we really enjoy getting to try different foods from all over the world, but definitely from our own country because we're not going anywhere. The box comes with one huge card that has all the information. So it has information about the Twin Cities on there, different like Facts. And then it has a map that has a location for each of the snacks that are in this box. And then rather than giving a really detailed description about the snack, because we can pretty much get that information from the packaging because it's in English, unlike those international snack boxes that we do, this gives a little information about each company, which is just so awesome. Yeah. We really like learning about them. And then the box also comes with a sticker. Last month it was a donut and it was so extra cute, but this time it's like two ice pops stuck together and that's really adorable and clever for the Twin Cities. It is. First up, we have triple chocolate chip cookies from Janita's Jar. Inspired by her own experience with domestic violence, Janita Flowers started Janita's Jar, a cookie company supporting education and awareness initiatives directed to ending relationship violence. Flowers also started an event series called Cookies and Conversations, an interactive panel focusing on encouraging a dialogue on the topic of domestic violence. Ooh. I always like cookies like this, but these smell different. This smells way more homemade. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It's like the same idea as like a Chips Ahoy. Like it's really crisp, but like a thousand times better. It has a really like rich buttery flavor to it and not too many chocolate chips. And I'm getting like a little bit of salt too. Like yeah. it just tastes like a really great homemade chocolate chip cookie. And it has a really nice thin crisp texture. Yeah. I think that would be so good in ice cream, in some milk with your coffee. I just really like that crispy texture. And the chocolate chips are like a little softer. They're not like really crispy, so it's a nice difference in texture. Really good, an mm -hmm. awesome company. Holy cow, yeah. what a story. I love that a lot. Next up, we have Chat Snacks from Ancient Indian Spices. Ancient Indian Spices is a mission-driven seasoning company that supports small farmers in the US, India, and Mexico. Deborah and her son Anil have been pan roasting spices for over 15 years and decided to start a business demystifying Indian cuisine and cooking. They started selling to nonprofits, schools, and farmers, but now distribute all over the region. Wow. Take a smell too, it smells really good. Mm. I love these little teeny miniature popcorns. Holy cow, those are so, so cute. I got a little bit of everything. There's so much going on. Like there's little cereals that look like rice checks or something like that and then there's puff rice the bag so there's like puff sorghum in here there's a lot mm -hmm. we've had chat snacks before but this is so much better this is really really good there's definitely a flavor journey here it starts off like kind of tangy like there's some lime going on yeah but then it gets like really toasty and a little spicy 
and a little bit salty and a little bit sweet. There's a lot mm -hmm. going on. I like all the different textures. Yeah. The popcorn might be my least favorite texture out of all of them because it's mostly just different variations of crunch and then the popcorn mm, is like light soft. and airy. Yeah. But really cute though. I really like those little popcorns. It's oh, good. So good. It's a really strong flavor and it's not something that you see a lot in America really Definitely like not. from brands that you're used to in your grocery store. You don't get a lot of Indian flavors like this, no. but we really enjoy them. So you that's have to awesome. go to like a specialty store to get something yeah. like this. Luckily we have a couple of Indian grocery stores not too far from us, but it's just yeah. been a really, really long time since we've been to any grocery store like that. Ah, so good though. That kind of makes me sad that that's like such a hard thing to get Yeah. when it tastes so good. This is jalapeno cheddar from Annie B's. Annie B's was founded in 1978 by Tom and Carol Bouquet in Kellogg, Minnesota. The couple enjoyed making caramels and popcorn out of their kitchen and soon discovered they can make a living doing just that. They named their business after their daughter Annie. They have since retired but ensured that their products are made by a small team with lots of love. It smells good. It's some fluorescent popcorn. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's good. It is good. I don't normally love cheddar popcorns like this, you know, like the orange ones that you get in like yeah. the tin. I don't usually go for the orange one, but this is so different because of the jalapeno. It's really spicy. Yeah. It's more of a mild cheddar, but not that weird white cheddar. Yeah. Obviously. And it's not that salty either. No, but it does have some nice heat. Yeah, it's really sticking around. It's intense. I only have like two pieces yeah. and like my whole throat is burning. That's intense. That's a lot. The color is really punchy. They have like good coverage too. Yeah. It's just good popcorn. Really good. We love popcorn. Mm -hmm. And we're always looking for craft popcorn like yeah. we want a subscription box of just popcorns that's always good to see this is cranberry walnut granola from winter goddess foods terry williams started winter goddess foods to supplement family income after an accident left her husband nehemiah disabled their intention is to use high quality organic ingredients and provide a product that brings true joy to its customer nehemiah packaged the granola himself for our boxes as terry is recovering from a surgery we wish her well. This is a gigantic bag. Holy yeah. moly. And you get like really good whole dried cranberries. Yeah, those are also gigantic. Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. really good. I like that a lot. I wasn't sure if I was going to because I really don't like the flavor of walnuts that much, but the oats taste really great and the cranberries are just incredible. Yeah, they're awesome. That's a great cranberry. <laughs> the cranberry in this is really different than the, the packaged like ocean spray like dried cranberries you yeah. get. It actually tastes like a cranberry. Mm -hmm. which is weird. For a, so sour. Yeah, but not like too sour. Cause you know how when you get some dried fruits, they get like super sour. It tastes exactly like the canned cranberry sauce. Like the flavor that we associate the most with cranberry, mm -hmm. canned cranberry sauce. Tastes just like that. And it's like not too chewy. In Like in the best way. Yeah. Some people don't like that, but like we love that. Really good. Yeah, really good. I'm really impressed. And I'm not really a granola person. I am. I really do like granola. I like granola on yogurt or, I mean, I guess you could put it on ice cream. I never have, but like I do like granola in my yogurt. I don't really like yogurt that much, so I, I like, like to have something I like in there. granola in my yogurt, but like just eating it, but like I want to eat more of that. I always have, I think some people also like eat granola as a cereal with milk. We seem very excited about this granola. Yeah. <laughs> I've had a lot of difficulty finding granolas in the grocery store that I like the flavor of because they're always like too intensely vanilla mm -hmm. or or honey or something. But like this is just a great presentation of all of the different flavors of things just mm -hmm. done really well. Yeah. And the other thing I really like about this is that it's not like super like cut your mouth crunchy. Yeah. The oats are soft. It's just like kind of loose. Yeah. Which I like. And they're not better. like big clusters. Yeah. It feels more like you're eating like a handful of seeds or something. Yeah. And I mean that in a good way. We've had a lot to say about this. I'm so surprised. I'm like, oh, what are we going to say about granola? A lot. a lot. This is a breakfast cookie from Sift Gluten Free. Sift Gluten Free started in 2013 in Molly Miller's tiny apartment kitchen after going gluten free to help control symptoms of Crohn's disease. She started experimenting with gluten free flours and converting family recipes into gluten and dairy free alternatives. Today, Sift Gluten Free is a bustling bakery that brings joy to the Minneapolis community, gluten free or not. So this cookie is gluten, grain, dairy, and soy free. What's in it? What's left? Lots of lots of nuts and things. It looks like there's pumpkin seeds in here. There's coconut, flax seeds. So we have had quite a few gluten free things because we have yeah. someone in the family who is gluten free. We just tried those gluten free Oreos not that long ago and they were awesome. Gluten free yeah. things are certainly getting so much better than they were even just a few years ago. This smells really good. Yeah, it smells like... It smells like oatmeal. Yeah. Or like a granola bar sort of thing. A lot going on in there. It reminds me in texture 
and a little bit in flavor to those Bobo's oatmeal bars that we had in the USA Snacks box, I think it was. It's really like chewy and soft, but then it also has like a little bit of a toothiness to it from all the different things that are yeah. in there. And there's a lot in there. I can definitely see myself eating this in the morning. Like, I feel like it's perfect for that. Yeah breakfast cookie yeah i definitely can taste the little bit of cinnamon that's in there mm -hmm. which is good i think it goes really well with all this stuff normally i wouldn't choose something like this with all these different like seeds and mm -hmm. things that's just not normally my cup of tea but it's actually pretty good like the flavor is really good and i can see it being pretty filling in the morning especially yeah. like when you're in a rush and you just want something quick yeah not bad these are old dutch dill pickle potato chips Old Dutch potato chips have been a Twin City staple for over 85 years. Old Dutch was started in 1934 in St. Paul, Minnesota, and has since moved its headquarters to Roseville, just north of the city. Their chips are made there and at the facility in Minneapolis. They also give back to their community by donating to minor and professional sports teams, social programs, and fundraisers. The packaging of this looks a little bit familiar to me. We've had Old Dutch chips before. Oh. I don't know if we've had dill though. I don't think so. They smell so good. Oh, I love dill pickles so much. It reminds me a lot of the Lay's dill chip, but it doesn't hang around as much. Like the dill flavor doesn't hang around as much, which I prefer. It's not like overpoweringly dill. It really kind of does taste like you've eaten a pickle though. Yeah. It has a good like sourness to it. Mm -hmm. Like it's almost like a salt and vinegar thing happening as if it's actually been pickled, not mm -hmm. just like dill flavor. Cause I feel like there's dill chips around here. These are very specifically dill, dill pickle, pickle yeah. and they taste like it really, really good. The chip itself is really good too. A little bit different than the traditional Lay's that yeah, we're like used to. Yeah, a little to. thicker. A little thicker, a little less oil saturated. Mm -hmm. It had a nice potato flavor, but that didn't really come through until the end, but it was good. Yeah, I really great. like that. And finally, we have the original salted nut roll from Pearson's Candies. The Pearson's Candy Legacy was born in 1909 by P. Edward Pearson and his four brothers in Minneapolis. In 1933, the classic Pearson salted nut roll was introduced amid the Great Depression, and 16 years later, in 1950, Pearson's moved across the Mississippi River to St. Paul, where their operations currently run. Pearson's has been delivering their treats to frontline workers across the Twin Cities during the pandemic. These heroes deserve the smile a yummy local treat can bring. I really love the idea of nougat, but I never like it as much as I want to when I actually eat it. I hope this changes that. Yeah, I think this is going to be different. We don't normally like nougat when it's on its own. But when it's in like a candy bar, we like yeah. it. I think all the textures of the peanuts are really gonna be good with it. The flavor of the peanuts and the caramel really remind me of a Baby Ruth, even though it doesn't have chocolate on it. Something about this really tastes like a Baby Ruth. You're right. It's really good. Yeah, I was afraid it was gonna be too sweet, but the peanuts really do balance it. Yeah, it's a great salty, crunchy, chewy, the whole thing is just a really good combination of textures It kinda reminds me of a Snickers. A little bit. Yeah, it's really good. That is good. I think it's just when nougat's on its own. It's just too soft and sugar, chewy. Yeah, like, it's sweet. It's just like a sugar sweetness and nothing else. The peanuts go great with it. They do. That's really good. Great box. Mm -hmm. We really, really love this. Yeah, it looks fun. Now keep in mind this box, very similarly to the USA snack box that we opened, is gonna be a little bit more expensive than the international snack boxes that you can get your hands on because those boxes are sending you very popular mass produced snacks from other countries. So the makers of those boxes can get those sorts of snacks at a cheaper price because they're mass produced. Since these are from local businesses, the price of this box is kind of gonna reflect that. But honestly, it's worth it. These yeah. are really great high quality snacks. And all these companies are just so awesome. So it's really nice to have this way to support small businesses yeah. that we are nowhere near. That's really, really awesome. And not only are they just small businesses, but they all usually have a pretty good cause. So yeah. I love the concept of this box. After we finished this video last month, we were like talking about it. And this is seriously like such a great concept. And the execution of it is really, really great, especially for... This is only its second box yeah. and it's done so well already. Even after the first box, it was great. We've done quite a few openings for different boxes as they're starting off. And it's a journey to like see the boxes change and grow and how they adapt to things. But this box like started off running. Like yeah. they were great from the very beginning. So we're really excited for them. Thank you again to City Snack Pack for sending us this box. We really, really do enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of our other subscription box videos. And follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook. Those links are down below.